What I want to demonstrate here real quickly is changing my desktop wallpaper. So here's something people don't know is that when you do a Google image search, you can specify the size of the images that you want it to return. And I'm going to use a zoom, a call out in ScreenFlow to show you where you add that. So you see that here on your screen now. And I haven't touched my cursor, I haven't done anything. I'm doing all this in post. And uh, you can see my screen resolution is 1680 by 1050. So yes, that means I don't have a retina display yet. <laughs> um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through these images. Now, finally, I'll be back on my cursor and look through these images. Well, here's a really nice one. So the way that you can use Google Image Search is you click once, now you see a thumbnail, and behind it you see the full image page. But I don't wanna do that. What I wanna do is I wanna go over to the right, and now I wanna click on Full Size Image. And now the whole image loads on my web browser. Now it's not as big as my screen because Google Chrome is automatically scaling it. That's why it shows the little plus symbol on the cursor. So what I want to do here is control click, save image as, and then I'll just go ahead and put it on my desktop, Alice in Wonderland desktop, save, and on the lower left you can see it downloads the image and when it's done the icon changes and that looks good let's move this out of the way and now we go into finder and with any luck we click on it and there's a zillion options here I did control click but if I go to services there it is set desktop picture there we go there's my new desktop picture now what does that take? A total of 20 seconds to do, go through and do an image search? And what turns out to be really nice, and what I've done myself, is that you can use that same image search trick to actually grab 10, 20, 50, 200 images that you really like for your desktop, put them all in a folder, and then in the system preferences on the Mac, specify that it should randomly pick from that folder and even change every 30 minutes. So you can have lots and lots of interesting backgrounds. This one I really, really like. I haven't actually played the game that this is tied to, and I understand the game it has rather a dark theme to it, but suffice to say, that was a really fast way for me to change my wallpaper.